Frugal Tech. Hey, I wanted to remind you that uh, on June the 30th, we're going to be having a drawing to win an Apple iPod Nano. It's the 4 gigabyte model. Uh, brand new. Uh, it's really, really very nice. In order to win, you got to do two things. Number one, you need to be a subscriber to our YouTube channel. And secondly, you need to be present in our live chat room. Now that's at Frugal, that's F-R-U-G-A-L brothers.com. You get to the homepage, there's a link that says Frugal Tech Live. Be there June 30th between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for the drawing. It's going to be a lot of fun. We look forward to having you there. Now I wanted to share with you uh, in this video a, a free tool. It's a calculator to calculate the cost of downtime. And I come across this uh, from the IT Business Edge. And I always like cool little stuff like this because, you know, when you're trying to explain to someone the value of investing in maybe upgrading equipment or disaster recovery, um, and you're trying to explain this to business people, uh, they don't always see the value in that, right? Uh, if you're an IT professional and you're, and you're, and you're talking about a project that, uh, that can help that company's uptime and keep things working reliable, um, sometimes these folks just don't quite get it. They just see dollar signs and they don't want to hear anymore. Okay, so this is just another tool in your tool chest. And if you own a, a company, uh, it also might be an eye opener for you as well. But it's another tool in the old tool chest to keep. And it gets you thinking, I think, in some pretty important ways. Uh, so in the, uh, in the description of this video, I, uh, I will have the link to where you can download this from. So uh, the description of this is, is that the cost of downtime tool is a quick reference that helps you present the cost of downtime for certain technology components of a company. By presenting downtime in financial terms, it is much easier for the owner of a company to understand the justification for certain recommendations, especially infrastructure improvements. So it's basically a, uh, a five-step process where you identify failure points, you quantify the number of employees, you estimate how much their hourly rate is, uh, you determine uh, a productivity percentage impact, say 10% of their time, 50%, 100% when a component uh, fails. And then uh, then your, uh, your cost per hour uh, shows up. So that's very, very cool. So they gave a couple uh, some examples. It's, it's basically an Excel spreadsheet, okay? Uh, and I've looked at it, and you know some of the numbers I use are probably kind of unrealistic for a small company, but not so much for maybe a mid-sized company. They give an example. For example, if a uh, financial application server failed, uh, 100 users that make 50 bucks an hour were now 50 percent uh, less productive. Your downtime on that's $2,500 an hour. Now that's something that you know, an executive, a business owner, or a small, mid-sized company is going to get right away. They're going to get that. Another example is an email server serving up 300 employees. Average cost per hour, 40 bucks an hour. Uh, they lose 10% of their productivity. You know, you're talking, uh, you know, around $1,200 an hour for that uh, mail server being down. So you get the idea uh, on, on this thing. It's, it's in, incredible. Uh, and it, so it's a good tool to have. I highly recommend you go get it. Check it out. Play around with it. It's absolutely free. So it teaches you how to, to uh, calculate that cost of downtime. I'm Bruce Naylor, your Frugal Tech. I hope you enjoy these videos. Always love to hear your comments and your feedback. Again, if you want to get a hold of me directly, just email support at frugalbrothers.com. Remember, if it's in your shop, not making you money or saving you money, get it out of there. I'll talk to you later.